So, you've got two boards. You want to joint them so you can glue them up together. Get a nice tight fit. So you come over, you drop them in your vise, you grab some form of jointing plane, you give it a few strokes until you get shavings coming all the way across. Doesn't matter what angle it is because they will add up to 180 degrees if you flop them like that. Oh yes, no light whatsoever. So you are ready to clamp it, glue and clamp this thing up. So what kind of clamps are you going to use? Get some big long clamps, get pressure all over the place. Or are you going to do something simpler? Something the old folks would know about. Ever use some pinch dogs? Now pinch dogs are basically stamp st staples on steroids. They kind of look like, you know, Space Invader guys, or like that. But the secret of them, it, with them is that they got straight sides and the fronts are angled. That way, as you drive it into wood, they want to spread the wood, squeeze the wood together to uh, equalize the pressure. And how you work them is, what I would do is I will clamp the boards together, then figure some way that you can drive the dogs, one dog in between two, every two boards. And this right here alone will keep the boards together and they actually add a lot of pressure to them to sense them together. You can now take these off and they will hold it while the glue dries really easily. Then to peel them off, just peel them off and I never do my panels to the perfect size. I always leave extra so these holes you're going to saw off as you size it. But that right there, that's a pretty good hold. So for today's bonus I thought I'd talk about one of Christopher Schwartz's blog posts. Yeah, you knew we'd eventually get there. The dude's written over 5,000 blog posts. We'd eventually have to talk to one about one of them in these bonus sections. But before we do that, if you like this video, please do me a favor. Like, favorite, subscribe. Do all those social medias. Visit my website, WorthEffort.com, where I have a lot of swag available. And I'll soon have a new t-shirt design coming up. I'm working on it right now. Christopher Schwartz was the uh, editor of Popular Woodworking Magazine for decades, it seems. And for a long time, he's been the one of the key people behind Lost Art Press, the book publishing company that makes a lot of stuff we read out there. Some of the best books I recommend to people. But he has a very good take on how to read tool reviews. And I think that's incredibly important. So he explains the angles that people who are presenting tool reviews are coming from. Why manufacturers absolutely love tool reviews, even if they are negative. There's some kind of skewed psychology to it that he actually does boost their sales. And with this YouTube generation where there are so many content creators out there that are just hungry for stuff to produce, tool reviews are an easy, easy option. Even I will do and have done tool reviews. You've seen quite a few in this Woodworking Tips of the Day series. So it's important to me that you understand a lot of the nuances of it. He wrote four or five uh, blog posts on this subject. I'll put a link to them all below. I highly suggest you read them. Uh, they aren't too long, but they they present a really cool nuance from a guy that has made a living out of writing about this subject matter.